when they brought him to the place called the skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, they offered him vinegar to drink, mixed with myrrh, but when he tasted it he would not drink it. There, they crucified him, and it was about nine o'clock. But Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And with him they crucified the evildoers, two robbers, one at either side and Jesus between them. And one of the hanged evildoers said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come in your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Verily, I say to you, today shall you be with me in paradise. And it was about twelve noon. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Now from the noontime, there was darkness over all the land till three in the afternoon, and the sun was obscured. And at three o'clock Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which being translated is, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of those standing there, when they heard it, said, Behold, this man is calling Elijah. Upon this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now ended, said, that the scripture might be fulfilled, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was standing there, and one of them ran at once and, taking a sponge and filling it with the wine, put it on a hyssop stalk and brought it to his mouth. Then Jesus therefore on receiving the wine cried out again with a loud voice, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit and having said these things, he yielded up his spirit.